The vast oceans of our planet hold many secrets. Beneath the waves, a world of extraordinary life thrives. Among these are the Phaeophyceae, commonly known as brown algae. These organisms are not true plants, yet they are vital. They form underwater forests, swaying with the currents. Imagine a world painted in shades of olive green and brown. This is the realm of the Phaeophyce, a truly remarkable group, full of surprises. They represent a distinct lineage of life. Let us delve into their fascinating existence. Pheophyce are a large group of multicellular algae. They belong to the class Pheophyce within the Stromenopoles. This makes them quite different from green or red algae. Most brown algae live in marine environments. You will find them from the poles to the tropics. They are particularly abundant in cooler waters. Their presence shapes entire coastal ecosystems. They are masters of survival in challenging conditions. Their story is one of adaptation and resilience a testament to the diversity of life in the sea. Join me as we dive into the world of brown algae. Brown algae are overwhelmingly creatures of the sea. Very few have ventured into freshwater habitats. Their true home is the saltwater world of oceans. Here they have conquered diverse marine environments. They thrive along rocky coastlines and in deeper waters. Their distribution is global, a testament to their adaptability, from the crashing waves of the intertidal zone to the calmer, dimmer regions of the subtidal zone. They are a constant, vital presence in these marine realms. The intertidal zone is a particularly challenging habitat. Organisms here face a daily cycle of exposure and submersion. Brown algae have developed remarkable ways to cope. Some have tough, leathery bodies to prevent drying out. Others cling tightly to rocks with strong holdfasts. They must withstand the pounding force of the waves and the intense sunlight during low tide. Species like rockweeds are masters of this domain. They form dense bands along the shoreline, a familiar sight to any coastal explorer. Further from the shore, in the subtidal zone, conditions change. Here the algae are permanently submerged. The world of brown algae showcases an astonishing diversity. This diversity is clearly seen in their size and form. Some species are incredibly small, almost microscopic. At the other end of the spectrum we find true giants. The giant kelp, Macrocystis, is a prime example. It can grow to lengths of over 60 meters. These blades are adapted for efficient light capture. The body of a brown alga is called a thallus. It lacks the true roots, stems and leaves of land plants. The colors of the ocean are rich and varied. Brown algae contribute their unique hues to this palette. Their characteristic color is due to special light capturing molecules. These molecules are known as pigments. Pigments absorb certain wavelengths of light and reflect others, which determines the color we see. In brown algae, a specific mix of pigments is present. This mix gives them their distinctive appearance and allows them to thrive in their underwater light environment. Understanding these pigments unlocks the secret of their color. Like plants and other algae, brown algae contain chlorophyll. Specifically, they have chlorophyll A and chlorophyll C. Chlorophyll A is the primary photosynthetic pigment. It absorbs red and blue light, appearing green. Chlorophyll C is an accessory pigment, helping to capture more light. However, if only chlorophylls were dominant, they would look green. But brown algae, as their name suggests, are not typically bright green. The key pigment responsible for this color is fucoxanthin. Let us journey now into the microscopic world of the brown algal cell. Within these tiny structures, life's essential processes unfold. One crucial process is the storage of food. Brown algae, through photosynthesis, produce sugars, but they do not store this energy as starch like plants do. Instead, their primary storage carbohydrate is laminarin. Laminarin is a polysaccharide, a complex sugar. It is stored as dissolved particles within the cytoplasm or in special vacuoles within the cell. This energy reserve fuels their growth and reproduction. Another important compound found in brown algae is mannitol. Mannitol is a sugar alcohol, also derived from photosynthesis. It serves as another form of food storage, but mannitol has other vital roles too. It acts as an osmoregulator, helping to balance salt concentrations. This is particularly important for algae in marine environments where salinity can fluctuate, especially in tidal pools. 
Mannitol helps protect the cells from osmotic stress. It can also be transported throughout the alga's body, moving energy to where it is needed most. The cells of brown algae are surrounded by a cell wall. This wall provides structural support and protection. The continuation of life depends on reproduction. Brown algae have evolved diverse and fascinating ways to create new generations. They can reproduce in several different manners. These methods ensure their survival and dispersal. Broadly, we can distinguish between vegetative, asexual and sexual reproduction. Each strategy has its advantages in different circumstances. Some methods allow for rapid population increase, others promote genetic diversity, crucial for adaptation. The complexity of their life cycles is truly remarkable, reflecting a long evolutionary history in the marine realm. Vegetative reproduction is the simplest form. It does not involve spores or the fusion of gametes. Instead, a new individual arises from a fragment of the parent. If a piece of the thallus breaks off, it can grow. Provided conditions are favorable, it develops into a complete new alga. This method is common in many species. For example, species of sargassum can fragment easily. These fragments can drift and colonize new areas. The Pheophysiae family is vast and varied. Let us meet some of its most well-known members. Perhaps the most famous are the Kelps. Genera like Laminaria, Macrocystis and Neriocystis form vast underwater forests. Macrocystis periphera, the giant kelp, is a true titan. It can grow incredibly fast, creating towering canopies. These kelp forests are biodiversity hotspots. They provide food and shelter for countless marine creatures. Their ecological importance is immense. Other common brown algae include the rockweeds. Species of Fucus and Ascophyllum are familiar sites. They dominate the intertidal zones of rocky shores. Their tough, leathery thalli withstand harsh conditions. They often have air bladders to help their fronds float. Another fascinating example is sargassum. Some species of sargassum are free-floating. The Sargasso Sea is named after these floating forests. The importance of brown algae extends beyond their ecological roles. They are of significant economic value to humans. The alginates extracted from their cell walls are widely used.